Hey guys, how's it going? This is Max from Center Music House. I uh, want to show you another Zoom tip today. I posted a couple videos showing you how to use your cell phone as a second webcam if you're doing online lessons of any sort. And somebody asked me a question, well, what if I have an actual webcam? How do I use that as a second webcam? And that's a great question because that's the whole point. Uh, a few weeks ago, I didn't have a webcam. They were all sold out. I managed to find one on newegg.com and it finally came in all the way from Hong Kong. And so I've got it right now, so I'm gonna show you guys how to use, uh, two, how to do a two webcam shoot in Zoom the proper way, all right? Now there are two ways to do this. The first way is, first of all, you wanna be in a meeting like I am right now. Down here, you can access the video settings. And in this pop-up, it's got the two different cameras that are plugged into my device right now. So there's the HD Pro Webcam C920, and then the FaceTime HD camera, which is my built-in MacBook camera. So if you want, you can click this up arrow, and then select which camera you want. There we are. Now, I don't know if you caught it, but there's this little thing up here it says select a camera and then in parentheses shift command N to switch that's a keyboard shortcut now if clicking on the mouse is comfortable for you awesome but if you want a quicker way to do it and you have your keyboard nearby which I do recommend is you hit shift command N and that automatically switches the lap uh, on the laptop switches the webcam so I'm, I'm using a Mac right now if you're using a PC it's gonna be alt N alt N is the keyboard shortcut switch between cameras if you're using a PC let me do that one more a couple more times shift command N there we are back it's like ping-pong so that's the first way the second way and which I think is gonna be the better way if you're doing online mes lessons, music lessons, um, is using the screen share. So if you click on screen share, and normally the basic one comes up, but if you go to advanced, there is content from second camera. Okay, what does that do? Well, you click on that, you hit share. Now you see the two cameras. Now what a student sees, when you do that is the two camera feeds and there's like a divider line in between them and they will be able to move that back and forth to increase or decrease the size of one of the other feeds. But this is great because you can have, an, say you're doing piano lessons, you can have your external webcam set up um, to look overhead at the keyboard and then your built-in webcam on your laptop can be right in front of you. So it's easily accessed, you know, you have the access to the keyboard. And I think it's also good because you want your students to feel like you can see them and you're looking at them. Now maybe, um, maybe you have a setup where you have your webcam and it's, you know, our, one of our drum teachers and our tech support guy, Tyler, he has a two camera setup. One is kind of over the shoulder and that was great, but he was finding that when he, when he's using that, he's looking at his laptop to look at his students, but he didn't have a webcam on his laptop. So when he's looking at his screen to see what his students are doing, to them it looks like he's looking off, you know, somewhere in the distance. I think now more than ever, people are looking for a human connection and they want to feel like they're being seen. So having two cameras is a good way for people to feel like you can see what, what they're doing, basically, and connect. So, again, gonna stop that actually before I stop that there's this button up here switch camera so you can click that to toggle which one is the main camera feed that the student sees and then if you're done you just hit stop share and it goes back to what the primary camera is set all right so that's it hope that helps take care guys good luck Hey everyone, Max here from Center Music House. If you're interested in learning how to play an instrument with one of our instructors, you can go to centermusic.com slash online lessons and you can sign up for a free trial on music lessons. 
And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can get updates when we release new videos and that kind of thing. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment below or email our tech support team at help at Thanks and have a great day. Thank you.